What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Overland Expo Mountain West here in Colorado, our hometown. And we're gonna walk around, show you guys everything that is here for those who can't make it. And I guess if you guys were here to kind of recap what is here and uh, yeah, so let's take a walk around. All right, so. First, of course, we had to show you guys our booth. We got our nice flag going on. The Tacoma is here. The Forerunner back there. We got Charlie, Moon, and Tuan holding up the booth here. And then we brought some products. We got the RAV4 right there. And yeah, it's looking real good. But uh, yeah, there's that. If you guys were here and checked us out, appreciate it. Right next to us, we got ARB and Slee Off-Road. We love ARB products, well, some of them at least. Uh, we don't have all their products, but they do have really cool stuff. Like the ARB Twin is probably one of our favorite things. The fridges are super cool as well. They look very, very different than the Dometic, but uh, for those who don't know, Dometic actually makes the Dometic fridges. But yeah, so basically, pretty cool. That is to say they're, they're just as good. So we got the Gladiator, the new Bronco. Of course they got their bumper on there. Pretty sweet looking truck. Let's take a look around. I haven't seen one in person myself, so it looks like this is the ARB version. Nice little bad that they made. This thing is way better than the sport that we keep seeing on the street. It's a nice size. Looks real good. They got a drawer system already in there. Pretty nice, very nice. So, we're not gonna have time to show you guys everything, obviously, just because there's so many vendors here. But what we are gonna show you guys, just because we are a Toyota um, website and Toyota YouTube channel, obviously we're gonna show you guys all these cool Toyota boots. So, let's walk around so here's the Garmin booth you guys should know about Garmin they've been around for ages this is their forerunner here pretty sweet they got an ARB twin compressor like that Odyssey battery they know the good stuff and then if you guys we're here. This is our forerunner that we finished a couple days ago. Camberg long travel front, C4 front bumper, beadlock RR6 wheels. We got our rock sliders on here. We got the Heritage Toyota colors, 270 awning, um, Dobinson long travel rear. The up top overland roof rack with the Baja Designs XL80s, the eye camper, and then we just added that Weeboos antenna right there. Just to get some signal out here, just because everybody's pulling self service. Alright, so here is OVS or Overland Vehicle Systems booth. Um, they got their Raptor with their 270 awning, which we love, popped open. As you can see, it is freestanding and it's Massive gives you a lot of shade and we love it um, But yeah, they got a bunch of other stuff like recovery gear and tents and Lights and a bunch of stuff that way you guys will probably see um, at runningfortacos.com later on But yeah, they're doing big things So next to them we got this giant awning and giant truck Of course, it is the earth roamer. This is the HD version 
Um, if you ever feel like roaming the earth, this is probably your go-to, but this thing is probably like a million dollars. So I don't know um, if it's even feasible for the majority of people. But I mean, it's cool. It's ginormous. Um, and then of course, right next to it is their regular size earth roamer. Not so big. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. So this one definitely is more suitable for, you know, traveling, and family, and everything like that in style, but still extremely expensive. But um, yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. All right, so next we got rigged supply with their ultra swing tire carrier. This is what we were using on our Forerunner and Tacoma at one point, but uh, yeah, this is these guys here, super cool guys, super nice. This is their Raptor that they just built out. This is their carrier with um, I think these are 37s or 40s or something like that, 37s. But yeah, so they have ones for like the 35 and and smaller sizes, but these guys are cool. Really like them, really like their swing compared to um, cu a couple of different brands that I don't want to mention. But uh, yeah, these are probably one of the better swing outs out there. Another unrelated to Toyota products, but uh, very cool. Hunter RMB, another big truck like Earth Roamer with, I see a slide out grill right there. Pretty cool. Very cool. We got decked next to them, right here. Here's their truck, this is the Tundra. Very sweet wrap they got on it here. Hi camper. On top. This is another I camper on a trailer seeing a lot of eye campers here which is great because you know we love eye camper we got dead man off-road we have been meaning to talk to these guys for a while so we might have to stop by and chat with them and they got a tundra so that's cool but they look pretty busy so i might have to come back very cool stuff they got going on here we got timbo tusk here Love their scottles, you guys know that already. Looks like they got a new board going on here and possibly a new table. Right, Let's go we'll check that out real quick since we haven't seen this. This is very cool. Extendable legs, double decker. That's pretty cool. I like it, especially if it's compact like that. Very nice. We are at Diamondback here. We got Mike's big Ford here, the Tremor. Of course, you got an eye camper on the back. But yeah, it's pretty cool seeing this thing in person. Hung out a little bit yesterday, but uh, I guess he's not here today, so we'll find him a little bit later and talk to him. Check out Fox's nice setup they got going on here. This is pretty sweet. I wonder if this thing pivots and opens up. That's very cool, very fancy. You guys know we love Fox, so yeah. Here's a pretty cool setup that you don't see very often. You got a Tacoma here with a really, really nice sleek looking camper. Looks like it's called Truck House. Very cool. Very nice. Another really cool setup here. This is another third gen Tacoma Skinny Guy Campers, is what this one's called. And that's pretty, pretty neat. Very different. Looks like you walk up there, that's a platform so you can stand up there, and then looks like you can fold it down to sleep and it folds out this way. 
Wow. Very different. I like it. Looks like we got Mountain Hatch here. You guys know already if you guys have a Tacoma. Very sweet. They got their Tundra here with the tailgate insert. Thing I like about theirs versus like the aluminum ones that you guys see is that theirs is actually food grade. So we usually just wipe it down and start cooking on it. Cutting meat, veggies, whatever. Very nice. And this is a tailgate insert on their Tacoma. This is what we have. We have the gray one on ours. We like it a lot. We use it almost every time we go camping. All right, so we are at Diodynamics booth here. Well, their pull out, fold out trailer. Very cool. Let's go check out what they got in here. So, we are going to be running their light bars and other pods on our Forerunner pretty soon. So, this is all very cool to see in person here. Brackets, OEM fitment stuff. Yeah. Just show them this right here. Fully waterproof. Let's check this out. Super bright as well, as you guys can see. All right, so we are at Dobinson's booth here. We got the Firestone uh, Forerunner here. You guys also might know him um, on Instagram. He has a Forerunner page, a very popular Forerunner page. But uh, yeah, this is oh, actually, let me show you their new stuff. This is their MRR with their new bumps right here. Go check out the back one. This is brand spanking new. It's in their coilover. Well, their coil. Yeah, very cool. We just installed this one on our Forerunner as well, and it rides amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else, what else they have on their table here. Up and control arms, track bars. That's a beefy, beefy coil. These are the new bumps, right, guys? Cool. That's the 2.6 inch diameter and the 2.2. Nice. Very cool. Super Pacific. <laughs> Very similar to uh, the Go Fast, but uh, it's pretty, pretty neat. Tacoma. Here's one on the Tundra. I really like the Molly panels on the inside as well. It's nice to see some other companies doing very similar things, so I like it. Here's Lightner. They have really, really nice racks. Here's one on a third gen Tacoma. I really like that they have the storage cubbies. Pretty, pretty cool. Very, very nice. We don't currently have this on our website, but it's a possibility. It's because uh, I see a lot of people running it. So we got Go Fast Campers here, as mentioned earlier. This is their, I think, just regular tent. It goes on like an SUV. We got Kelly's rig here, Gopher Paw. Owner of Loki. Hey, there he is. He's hanging out up there. I was wondering who's sitting on your truck. Is the little guy? Gotcha. There's Loki. What's up, buddy? Just chilling. This is a new Foster Kelly's fostering. Yeah, man, it's hot. Yeah, we just said hi to Kelly real quick. Um, this is the Tacoma version of the GF for the Go Fast. Um, as you can see, very similar to the one we showed earlier. The sides fold up, the back folds up, and then you can kind of just sit on top, camp up there. You can pop it all open, you can stand all the way up there. Yeah. Here's trails off-road. Use them. What's up, man? Hi. 
We use them all the time when we go on a trail. Anytime, every time before we go on a trail. So you guys got to make sure you guys check it out. They got a new app, right? Got a new app? Oh, got a new app. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh guys, we made it to Rig Talk and Rider Off-Road. These guys are a little new to, to me personally, to us, but uh, they're, they're pretty big in California. They got some brand new wheels. Actually, I just completely skipped it. There's two different styles here. Here it is on the Forerunner. Pretty look, good looking wheels. We're probably gonna have to get some on our vehicles, Tundra, Tacoma, Forerunner, all of that. How often do you see white wheels? Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. This is their new one right here. Polished lip. Clean. Fresh. I, th I think I think this is this might be our new setup. I don't know. But just talk to them. Super cool guys out in California. So we just made it back to our booth. So we walked basically all the way over there, got that whole section covered for you guys. We're back here to the left of us. We got up top Overland, our buddies. Had to be next to them, of course. Super cool displays that they got going on here. All their rack models, the new snorkel that they are releasing today, which you guys will probably see later. Um, yeah, check those out. Boom, boom. Right in front of us, we got GP Factor, LU Cab, and we got a bunch of these LU Cab popped out. This is probably my go-to camper if I were to get one um, out of the ones that we've showed you guys already. These campers are legit, like. Go fast is cool, the other ones are cool, but this is this is probably my favorite so far. It's a little bit bulkier, but man, their details and their quality is like no other. So, Seek Out Beauty's truck right there, uh, Daniel from California um, is here, but yeah, very cool. All right, we got SPC here. They are our go-to upper control arms for the Tacoma Forerunner and Tundra. And then all of them also a local life. company. We got Rego Fabrication here. Mario, check out that battery box. That's the one we run. Mario's here by himself, I think. So yeah, we tried it yesterday, so we'll catch up with him in a little bit. We got 23-0 here. They're ground tents, single person. Rooftop tents over there. They got their 270s out as well. I didn't even know they had a 270. But they got a pretty big booth. This one, and on the opposite side, I think it's like a 40 by 40, it looks like. These got Bill Steen over here. Love these guys. Love their products. Wish they had a Tacoma here instead, though. But they do have this beast. Jesus. We got Expedition 1 right here. This is the bumper we're running on our Ford right here. Got Goose Gears booth. Got the IU cab up there. This is the Goose Gear that we got in our Forerunner. Doesn't seem like they have a Forerunner here, but they do have the Jeep showcasing the drawer system with the fridge. We got Thule here. If you guys don't know, they're the ones that bought Tapui. So Tapui is owned by Thule now. And then we got Front Runner with our buddy Kyle over here. Let's go say hi. This is his Tacoma. Supercharged. What's up, guys? This is the GX over here. Very nice. All right. So we basically did this entire section here where we are. It's right there. We're gonna come over here, 
this is where the entrance is and uh, got a couple big vendors over here like the medic um, so let's go check everything out oh well since we're here it's not totally related but uh, the new Hummer EV something like 10,000 foot-pounds of torque which is ridiculous and it can walk almost sideways diagonally crazy it's pretty big in person um, but uh, very cool features is that it's electric and everything like that so pretty cool but uh, yes yeah, go over here Dometic this is their forerunner it has the goose gear in the back of course with the Dometic fridge and chargers and all that good stuff here You got Jason from Over the Eats truck right here. And there he is. The eye camper. All right, so we're at the Backwoods Mods booth. They got a, a lot of things going on here. So they got this aluminum bumper for the third gen Tacoma. That's pretty sweet. And uh, let's check out the rear. This is actually a new rear that's not released yet, I don't think. Dual swing out. And they have a brand new Forerunner bumper over here. So yeah, you guys might see these on our website later maybe we'll see all right so here is the new Tacoma color super green I think it's like green metallic a little bit has the imprint in it right there like the TRD Pro Tundra but it's it's on like a two line so it's like TRD and then underneath it says Pro I wish it was one a single line like the Tundra the Forerunner, I think this one is actually a wrap because they couldn't get one. So, very close to what you just saw on the Tacoma, but uh, not the real color, but very close to it. Alright, so, again, going to the Factor 55 booth. I love these guys' products, their quality is amazing. And if you guys didn't know, Warren actually bought them. So War Factor 55 is part of Warren now. Uh, let's go say hi to these guys and, and chat a little bit. They're super busy. So we'll come back, check in with them later. But we're here at Air Raid right next to them. And uh, they have this new Tacoma um, snorkel that they're coming out with pretty soon and that you guys will see us do an install video on fairly soon but this is it here brand new this will be available in the forerunner as well so you guys will see that too pretty sleek setup all right here's toy tech down the street neighbors from us super cool guys but uh, yeah Sure, you guys know that. What's up, Hugo? What's up? How you doing? Good to see ya. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Good. good? Man. Enjoy yeah. Your head. Yeah. 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 Nice setup. Thank you. Finally got time to come around. Yeah. To see it. Yeah. It was good. Busy. Insanely busy, yeah. dude. Saturday, dude. Thank you. Today's a busy day for sure. Give you up. For yeah. Sure. All right, man. I'll let you get back to you. I'm gonna you walk around. Nice see you later. See ya. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for the sandwich. Yeah, of course. We got Mike from Last Line of Defense's truck here at Tacoma Beast booth. But yeah, hey guys, looking good. Talked to Mateo a little bit earlier. Um, I know we're kind of, I guess, categorized as competition, but he's a really cool guy. Um, talked a little bit, and yeah, we hung out a little bit. So yeah, good company. All right, so Overland Expo has their giant semi 
truck here. And there's a couple more booths over here. I think Pelican booth is up there with our Blue Tundra. Food court is right here. But uh, Saturday, really nice turnout compared to yesterday. But uh, yeah, I think we covered pretty much all or almost all of everything that's Toyota related and you know all the cool stuff that we think is cool at least I'm pretty sure there's other cool things but uh yeah all right guys that is pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it it is definitely something that you guys should attend just at least one time just to see what's all about if you guys have never been and for those of you guys who did show up and walked around um, hopefully this was a nice little recap for you guys who have a Toyota um, but yeah we'll be at uh, Overland uh, Mountain West well not Mountain West we'll be at Overland West in Arizona uh, if you guys are gonna go to that one so we'll see you guys there and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it and we'll see you guys next time peace